What is up, people? Here, back with another one. Today, we will be flying to Jacksonville from Miami. Should be pretty uneventful. Um, it's about an hour flight. So, yeah. Let's get started. Hey, what's up, Captain Matt? How you doing, bro? Good, I hope. Good to see you, man. Get that jetway connected. Looks like we got 149 passengers on board today, so we'll get them all loaded up. Six. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, brother. Thanks for asking, man. Our boarding status. We're still boarding. Let us know if you need to change. Oh, really? Yeah, they're still, uh, mainly Boeing, right? Boeing?
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. This is your flight attendant speaking. Yes, and they are using both. Oh, that's cool. I just love the Neo, man. Get ready to fire up these engines. Two minutes left on boarding. Let's go ahead and get these engines fired up. Engine number one. Oh, oh I did not mean to. There we go. Engine number one. Can you come online? Dude, Matt, how do you know so much? Are you serious? They started as a crop dusting company? We are ready to go when you are. Right on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 1212. Our flight time will be roughly one hour <coughs> and five minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in a full upright and locked position for departure. Flight attendants, please prepare cabin for departure and cross check. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front of the aircraft for a safety demonstration. When the seatbelt light is on, please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened low and tight across your lap. To fasten, insert the metal fittings into one another. Tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. In the event that the seatbelt light is not on, we suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened in case of unexpected turbulence. Please take a few moments to now locate one of the several emergency exits on this aircraft. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. 
In case of an emergency and we need to evacuate the aircraft, there is lighting on the floor that will guide you towards the exit. In the event that the cabin loses pressure, an oxygen mask will drop right in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth and secure the elastic band behind your head. Tighten the straps if necessary and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask first and then assist others. Leave your mask on until a member of the crew advises you it's safe to remove it. In the unlikely event of a water landing, a life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. When instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Flip it over your head. Wrap the straps around You're your waist and buckle at the front. Pull the strap to tighten. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord only when exiting the aircraft. If it doesn't inflate automatically, you may... What happened to my to my flight clearance? The hell? Hey, Baron, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Ah, oh, freaking bugs, man. Not much, man. What's up with you, brother? I'm just hanging out. Sipping a little beer. Guys, I think I'm going to have to restart this. It's bugged. Shit. Oh, maybe I can just go to restart. Let's see if this will work now. Wait, why my engine still started? What the fuck? I started over. It looks like I'm going to have to redo this, guys. I'm sorry. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Yeah, it like, I don't know what the hell happened, but it was weird. Uh, 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 low altitude. I 
wasn't the one. It was uh, Headley. Yes. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I I don't know what the hell happened, but something went wrong. Okay, that was good. And we're landing on runway... 26. That looks good. Cool. 25,000 feet. Alright, looks like we can go. Uh, Baron, I am, uh, from Dallas. Yeah, I'm from the Dallas-Fort Worth area for the last 20 years. Before that, I was, uh, from Southern California. Man, it's so bright outside right now. All right, let's try this again. Jetway. K-M-I-A K-J-A-X E-A-L one two one two All right Get the jetway connected we start boarding passengers Passengers loaded. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy fired up. There we go. There's my flight plan. Uh, Matt, I used to be from uh, from Downey, over near Cerritos and Pico and Ivera. <laughs> yeah, why not, Matt? What what are you wearing right now, bro?
Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong, but uh, my flight plan was totally destroyed. Thirty point zero six. Oh, a soccer academy? What's that all about, dude? That sounds pretty cool. Are you a uh, aspiring soccer player? in a pink knee length dress, short puff sleeve dress with feminine underclothes, all due to a dare from Fred. <laughs> it's all good dude i was a uh, tina turner uh one halloween so and i don't know how they wear them dresses man it gets cold up under there Hi, I'm house. We have a crew i'd like to welcome you aboard our flight as you find your seat be sure to place your large and carry on items in the overhead bins and my balls get cold. Oh, uh, let's inject the weather again since we restarted. You'll see the weather change here to real time weather uh, in a couple seconds. There we all might. There we all. Process, but we do ask that laptops, tablets, and any other larger electronic devices are stowed once we depart from the gate. Thank you and welcome aboard. Hey, can we get a boarding status? We're still boarding. Let us know if you need anything. Jetway, where are you going? People are still loading. They wear many, many petticoats. Uh, two minutes 
fluff. Go ahead and turn the beacon on. Letting the ground crew know that we're about to fire up some engines. when you are. Right, engine number one can come online. Positive in two. No, Baron, I, I, I don't know them. I think it's very cool that you're inspired by something and, and you're, you know, chasing your dreams. I'm not really uh, a big soccer fan. And welcome aboard flight 1212. I don't Our hate it. I will just... be roughly one hour and five minutes. Please note the captain. Yeah, I don't hate soccer. I just, I never really got into it. You know what I'm saying? I turned 21 in Mexico. I was in Mexico all the fucking time, dude. snaps in place. Watch. Snap. Nightbot tripping. Tell Nightbot to go home. He's drunk.
don't know, am I? Yes, uh, I'd rather turn the APU off. There, is that better? <laughs> um, I like anything X Games. And uh, Formula One. I fucking love Formula One, dude. I fucking I love this shit out of Formula One. Dude, Lewis is the man. That's that's all I can say. I don't think anybody's won as much as he has in Formula One.
Yeah, Mercedes fucking hands down, dude. They got their shit so dialed in, it's not even funny. How long, man? You gotta walk around like that for like a week or something? In a pink, in a pink dress, bro? Damn, what did you do to deserve that? Like, seriously. Until May 3rd? I gotta know the details, bro. Yeah, what did you do to deserve that, bro? Passing through 10,000 feet. That's fucking funny, dude. How did you lose that bear though? <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking funny dude. Mostly I'm home and when I go out I put on other clothes over the dress. 
Oh my god, dude. I don't even want to know what you did to lose that. That deer. And he said, I dare you to wear a fucking dress until May 3rd. That's funny, dude. Baron asks, do you have a favorite NFL team? Yes, I do. The Steelers. Pittsburgh, baby. Almost at our cruising altitude of 25,000 feet. Hey, Lady San Francisco, huh? The 787? Cool, dude. Do you stream it all? Tomlin's the man, bro. Oh, that sucks, Captain Matt.
the graphics in this game are just fucking phenomenal, dude. What do you mean, the Greek flag? No, I don't know which team you mean. There's a... <coughs> There's a couple of good O-lines out there. Okay, I get you. Oh, I get you, mate. Looks like we hit our cruising altitude. Just about. Switch into standard pressure. Go ahead and turn off the seatbelt light. Pretty soon we'll be able to jump back. The pressure has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. You can now get up and move about the cabin. However, we ask that you keep your seatbelt fastened when you need it in case of unexpected turbulence. Uh, Seattle, huh? All right, let's jump back to that random passenger. See what they're watching. Top five ghosts caught on camera. This brought to you by Ghost Vids. Something in the building. 
Here we have included a short footage of something unusual happening in a building. One night, two policemen heard weird noises coming from a building and decided to check it. Because of how unusual and unexpected it was in the midnight, they opened their camera to record this weird event and ended up capturing this. We could hear and watch the door slamming here. The policeman claimed that the building was completely empty on that time around. Ever since then, this place is considered haunted. But what are your thoughts on this? Weird light. Second on our list is a mysterious footage from a village. A user suggested this clip in a mail saying that a strange phenomenon has been occurring in his place for several days to a point where his neighbors were also disturbed because of the early morning with intense barking of local dogs for some reason. The dogs began to bark fanatically during the night due to the weird activity which has been happening for several days. The neighbors decided to install security cameras in order to solve this mystery and were expecting it to be some young people or thieves trying to enter a home, but unfortunately the case was much worse than that. At first they thought it could be someone walking with a flashlight but the light did not register anyone. The hypothesis also arises of a helicopter that at night made a surveillance task with a spotlight but the neighbors never heard the helicopter fly over the sector. <coughs> What's more creepier is the slight shadow along with the weird light. I have never seen such weird footage before but let me know your opinions too. Spirits roaming in the hallway Popular Korean ghost hunter Detok Mikol explores an extremely haunted location on his own and claims to have seen some spirits roaming around this area. People living nearby this place aren't a big fan of it either. Today he decides to catch some solid evidences of ghost existence inside this location and luckily managed to capture some of the most creepiest activities. Oh. 누구세요? 어? 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 잠깐. 와! 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 예예. 예. 하지 마세요. 와. 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 여긴 내가 낄 자리가 아닌가? 안에 Ever since Mikal entered this location, he noticed the door moving on their own several times, which tells that there's not one but many spirits roaming this hallway. 
Bravely, he continues his investigation and finds something even more creepier than the doors closing by themselves. Oh, yeah. Dude, he sounds like he's taking it up their ass or something. If you think all these activities were creepy, then you're not ready for the lost ones before he left the place for good. Not only one but two spirits were roaming inside the building, yet he still decided to go back inside and finds out a black figure slightly getting up. Well, this was it for me call to leave the location right away. What about you? Would you still continue exploring such place? Let me know in the comments. <coughs> a glitch in the matrix. A clip which was uploaded on Facebook by Morgan Leons, who captured something bizarre during what was supposed to be a pleasant drive with his family. He captured something so strange that it's left viewers dumbfounded. What the f is happening? Uh, there has to be like some challenge or something. Uh -uh, gotta go. Get me out. The strangeness of this video starts from a woman standing in front of a tree not moving a muscle. Until the camera until the camera holder pans over to the other side and finds everyone else motionless. And if we repeat the clip back, there seems to be a woman who seemingly is hovering in the air as if frozen. The uploader emphasizes that there were no cameras around which could be shooting a movie scene. This oh wow and cannot be explained. Let us know how uncomfortable it made you feel. She's off the ground, dude. Ghost farm. Final on our list is a video by a Spanish ghost hunter, Terrell Extremo, who explores a hunted farm and finds something roaming around to luckily capture it on his camera. Were you guys able to catch that? As he was exploring outside, there seems to be a shadow-like figure passing by one side to the other for a split second. But some strange continued activities tell otherwise.
In the end, they heard some weird noises and went to check inside the building. Unfortunately, they did not notice a black shadow which seems to be standing motionless on the corner. What are your thoughts on this? So which was the most creepiest and realistic clip to you out of this whole list? Let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more creepy content like this. Creepy, creepy, creepy. <laughs> Michael Jackson game. <laughs> I will be right back after pee peace. Be right back. Yeah, I'm back! Look at these constraints here. Uh, 18,000, 17,000. We're still dropping. Maybe give it a little speed break. Thousand two hundred. Drop on down to seventeen thousand. I said we can probably just go ahead and drop to ten.
wow, very satisfied my passengers are. That's a first. Normally they get on and they're fucking already mad. You know what I'm saying? I, I haven't even taken off yet and they're fucking pissed off. It's not a lake, it's a river. St. John's River. Yeah, that's beautiful, dude. Yeah, we're way ahead of schedule.
9100. Hey, you can, Captain Matt. If you uh, if you type exclamation point or exclamation mark Discord in the chat, it'll give you a link to my Discord, and you can post a picture in there. Final descent into your destination. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure tray tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and stow any larger electronics. Right along the coastline, doesn't get any more picturesque than this. Let's take a step outside.
Uh, 2,000? Okay. Go three. What is up, Bonarian? How you doing, man? I hope you're well and staying safe. And I, I apologize if some of you have subscribed and I didn't shout you out. Like, there's something wrong with my notifications. I'm not getting any notifications. So if you subbed, thank you very much, but I'm completely unaware. Hey Matt, I will fucking, I'll look at it and I'll laugh It, I don't know, should I laugh? I feel like it's going to be pretty funny. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go gear down. Wow, we're 30 minutes ahead of schedule. Let me uh, let them know. Great news from the flight deck. We're very slightly ahead of schedule.
I see my runway now. Go ahead and capture that localizer. Full flaps. Uh, no, I haven't, Matt. I haven't seen the picture. I will look at it, though, uh, as soon as I land. And I actually have three monitors. Oh my god, this is so fucking beautiful. Hey, what is up, Flex? How you doing, man? Thanks for dropping by, bro. Five hundred check. Four hundred check. Three hundred check. Two hundred check. One hundred check. Kind of a rough landing. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. The local time is 6.43 p.m. and it's currently about 71 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins as items may have been shifted during the flight. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us. If you're making a connection, we encourage you to check your itinerary to ensure a smooth continuation of your journey. Come on! Turn off! Yeah, I'll check it. I'll, I'll definitely check it out, man. <laughs> I gotta see this shit. <laughs> hey, at least you're a man of your word, though, you know? straight in I like I like this a lot Holding short, activate the jetway, get these motherfuckers off my plane. Door is open. Shut down engine one and engine two.
soon as the suction cup sucks everybody out of the plane, we'll be good to go, bro. Take a little look see poo at Jacksonville. Wow, there's really not much out here. Fucking bunch of empty land. All right, they are all off. He in the flight. Whoa. Extreme flying conditions, whatever. All right, as always, thank you. Thank you, thank you so very much for taking this flight with me. Put my regular hat back on now. I hope Captain Matt won't get mad. But thank you, and uh, I will see you guys. Ugh. Sometime this week. Might not be tomorrow, but it, it'll definitely be early in the week. And as always, if you have a suggestion for a flight uh, in my Discord, there is a flight suggestions channel. So just leave it there and I will get to it. But yeah. Peace out, guys. Thank you, Captain Matt. Bonarian, thank you. Uh, Baron, thank you. Thanks to Liz, thanks to Yeah, thank everyone. You know, why not? Alright guys. Until we meet again. Discord.
<laughs> no, I thought I was going to see a picture of you, though, bro. Are you telling me that's you? That's the dress you're wearing. That's not you though, right? But seriously, if it is you, like, you're kind of cute, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Peace.